Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic Jedi Knight Edition. Once again in Knights of the Fallen Empire. I was about to say Knights. <laughs> oh, yes, that would have been great. So, we do have Alana, uh, or should I say Anna Benacle with us right now. Yeah, I, I, yeah, okay, she rescued us and everything, but I'm sure T7 could have done it by himself. He has one HP, after all. I mean, look at him. He's got one HP. He must be the most powerful being on this planet to be able to get through all of the Sky Troopers and enemies without dying. I mean, seriously, he has one HP. So, how can you say that he's not a cool guy? Literally. Well, whatever the case, we just need to take out these Sky Troopers very, very easily indeed. And yes, we're now going to be hearing Anna Benekal say, Challenge accepted and met. Because that's what she says every time she goes into combat. Which is pretty good. This is where Arkham keeps all his most prized possessions. Yes. Don't you feel special now? Yeah. Also... The problem that I have found with this particular section of story, at least with Zaylin right now, uh, actually with all of them, is the fact that the sound effects are usually, later on at least, dimmed. So whenever you're fighting with your lightsaber and so forth, you can actually hear the people speaking clearly. But unfortunately, because of unknown reasons, we currently do not have that capability. So if there is something happening, I will not be able to, well, shut my mouth and actually get the NPC's speech clearly because if I raise the volume at all, then it's just going to be lightsabers, 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 and blast of fire in the face. And that's basically all I'm going to get. So that's kind of unfortunate, but whatever the case, we need to now interact with the reinforced security door. I've got the door. Where's T7? Generating false security alerts in other sectors. Capable little astromech. Yes, I read you. An updated timetable would be good. Why, is there a problem? No, no problem. But we are starting to feel a bit exposed out here. You find the Outlander yet? Yes, I patched him in. Great. I'm Kaf Ortena. Welcome to the most suicidal rescue mission in history. Hope you're everything Lana said you were. Be patient, Koth. We're on our way. Koth will fly us out of here. Just as soon as we're through this door. I've seen her before. No. Hi, Justice Valen. The the intruders have released the Outlander. Sky troopers are scouring the building, but. Uh... But. Go on. Don't be shy. But there are alarms sounding in multiple sectors. We can't seem to pin them down. Well. Don't you worry. Everybody makes mistakes. We're not ready. Not for Valen. I can feel her searching for me. Her strength in the Force is astounding, even for her family. Let's get you out of here. Hurry! Sky Troopers, Valen's far from alone. Oh, okay, that is going to be pretty tricky to deal with, obviously. If we get caught by her, things are not going to go well. So, we need to escape to the extraction lift. Let's do it. Arrived. Got up a good fight. 
Yes, that's exactly what I was talking about. Now, <laughs> yes, they didn't seem to separate the combat chatter as well as the combat sound effects and the story. Now he's dedicated his life Never to ending Arkham's reign. Why? What did Arkham do to him? You can ask him yourself, that one. provided we make it out of here alive. Yes, exactly my point. I thought I would just stay quiet for a second there so you could hear the amalgamation of terrible, terrible noises that were actually sounding there because Lana apparently is, well, this Lana at least, is apparently very talkative indeed and her story self are very low. Yeah, they're very low indeed, so that's kind of unfortunate, isn't it? Hope you're not too close yet. What's happening? Nothing I can't handle, but we need to move the pickup. We don't have time for this. Well, if I land now, I'll be shot to pieces. So just think of it as a personal favor to me, huh? Duck through another tower and I'll find you. Watch your back out there. My number one pastime these days. Always love our little excursions, Lana. Back with you shortly. So where did you recruit our getaway pilot? He's a native of Zakul, believe it or not. Emperor Arkan wields great power now, but not all of his people support him blindly. Hmm. No. We have to keep moving. Good to see you. I have a million questions right now. I know. The answers will have to wait. Ah, well, very well. That's yes, that's absolutely fine. However, did you see how Valen just utterly destroyed that door? That's exactly the reason why we don't want to get caught by her, obviously. Wow. Now that is that is some power. I really I really don't even know how we would be able to defeat her. E ever, really. I mean, she is extremely powerful. She is a Valkorian's daughter, after all. So, yeah, that's pretty harsh. That is pretty harsh. So, let's have a look here. Where do I have to... Nope, not in the office. Not in the office. Don't particularly need to print out anything, thank you very much. So, we're just gonna make our way out to the Sky Bridge instead. Hello, office workers. Oh, they actually look pretty stylish, I've gotta say. Pretty stylish work outfits. Okay, I actually just saw one of them disappear around the corner there. Hmm, that completely kills the immersion. <laughs> oh, yes, of course. Well, we have at least surveyed the entire map of the Zakulan office complex, so we'll be able to come back here if we ever so desire. Oh, yes. Actually, unsure why they gave me that, but yeah. I don't think we're ever going to be coming back here at any point. So, yeah, there is that to take into account, but well, I think we're actually... Oh... Oh, we need to go this way. Okay, I thought to myself, ooh, we might need to actually press something here, like a switch or a button or something to lower the force field, but no, we didn't actually need to do that. Now, Lana is being very useful by standing over there and then just charging in, of course. And now we have a ground assault walker. So, let's take it out. At the moment, it doesn't seem to be too damaging. I actually thought that this was very damaging when I played this on Zaynash. I'm actually unsure why it's being so easy to kill now, but I guess it's because we have really, really good gear in comparison to what Zaynash had, so I guess he was just the underprivileged one. Fight through it. Not the way I would have picked. What's happening? 
It's Valen. She'll bring the whole city crashing down on you if she has to. Lana, are my scanners glitched? Did you just charge headfirst into a Skytrooper droid factory? Valen's almost on us. We're out of options. This is Altair 3 all over again. We can handle a few droids. Come on. Oh yes we can. We've eliminated so many of them already and I mean even when we even before when we were actually before we were put in carbonite we did have quite a few sky troopers and we well we defeated all of those actually very easily but maybe their technology has advanced since that time. Well, who knows, but I just know one thing, that these Sky Trooper Captains fall before us just like a paper bag. I mean, really. Hostiles on my tail still, but I've got tricks they haven't seen yet. Cough? Cough! That one they've seen before. Gotta go, I'll keep my ears open. Okay, well, apparently Koth is having a couple of issues there, but I don't think he's gonna have too many more, because we're gonna be there soon, hopefully, to escape on his handy research vessel. Research? Handy escape vessel. Apparently research is, is his pastime. He does that on the weekends? Yeah, he does that on the weekends. That's probably the case. Hmm. Okay, well, wait, wait a minute. Where do I head to now? Well, one thing I do need to do is meditate. Yes, we need to meditate and make sure that all of the Sky Troopers know where we are. That wasn't you, was it? Valen happened. Valen did that? Yes, you were right about your outlander. Yes, I'm I'm pretty sure Lana was correct about that. I mean, she's correct about some things. I will give her that, of course. But yes, Koth apparently does not know Lana as well as we do, maybe? I don't know. We've gone through quite a few things, but I would guess that Lana and Koth have been through some adventures too. So, yeah, I would hasten to think that maybe they don't know each other as well as they think, perhaps. But, well, we'll see. We will see as time goes on, of course, what the dynamic is when we get... Out of here, of course. Ugh. Absolutely terrible right now. And there is a force field over there as well, and we need to, of course, take out all of these Sky Trooper Captains. Ugh. Every single one of these. I am just so thankful I'm dealing so much damage here because we're able to slice through them like nothing else. I mean, really, they just continually die before us. It's really quite nice. Obviously, they are droids, so technically they're not dying, they're just not functioning any further, I guess, but, well, you know what I mean. Yes. Come on now. Let's take out the last remaining Sky Trooper, or at least I hope it is. It doesn't even look like a Sky Trooper, really. I mean, if they were going for a humanoid look, they completely failed with that, but I suppose it doesn't particularly matter. And more and more Sky Troopers, of course. Challenge accepted and met. Never stood a chance. There we go. Okay, so, yeah, we're almost there. We are almost to the exit. Hopefully we'll get there just in time. And we're going to see where we go to next. I have 25 seconds on my focus defense. Detected. Emergency evacuation is in effect. It's going to rupture. Sound the evacuation. Get everybody out. Ten blocks in every direction. There's nothing we can do here. Let's go. Don't you dare! If that thing blows, it's taking a whole lot of people with it. You can still shut it down. Half the city will go dark, but the countless thousands who live and work here will have a chance. Do you see? This is how far they'll go to stop you. We need to get you off-world now. If I let that reactor go, I'm not worth saving. You'd better know what you're doing. Yes, I know what I'm doing, Lana. Thank you very much. I've done this countless times before. If I if I re will remind you, I actually did save the galaxy from Revan. Well, technically, everyone saved it from Revan because they all turned up. But if it wasn't for me, then all of the groundwork would not have been done. I ran through all those flashpoints, and I don't see Lana doing that. I don't see Lana. Well, she was kind of there, but not particularly, I suppose. It'll go quicker without distractions. What? What 
could you possibly intend to do? Whatever I can. Anastasic reactor failure imminent. Ah, that's what we got to do. Okay, so west and east, and that is all that stands between us and escape. So, let's make our way around. Can I actually... Ugh, of course I can't mount up. Oh, hello, I'm being shocked. That really doesn't make too much difference, though. It doesn't seem to deal any damage whatsoever. Kind of a bit amusing about that. But, we do have these guys. Can I push them off? Yes, I can. Goodbye. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I really do love force push, but unfortunately it is a one minute cooldown. Absolutely terrible, but we did get rid of the only unit that we actually had to defeat on this side, so that's pretty cool. And then we just need to do the next one, which is of course going to be somewhat of a chore as well. Hopefully my force push will be back by then. Okay, so we're a mere eight seconds away from completing our overload and disabling the West Conduit Tower. Let's see if it works. Did it work? Well, we need to go to the Master Power Junction to find out. Ah, yes, of course. We need to do even more of those amazing objectives. Oh, yes. Okay, wait a minute. Come on now. Yes. There we go. Nice damage. Now, let's just walk around and see what the Master Power Junction has for us. Hopefully Lana will see that we were correct in our assumption and, well, I, I suppose Koth is actually pretty happy about us actually doing this. But, yeah, we could not allow those lives to be wasted. Catastrophic reactor failure imminent. Enough! I'm taking you with me whether you like it or not. Reactor shutdown sequence initiated. Warning. Grid integrity at risk. Damn your stubbornness. You just gambled with the fate of the entire galaxy. I took a calculated risk. It paid off. You engaged in an unsuccessful attempt to kill us both, is what you did. I never said you had to stay. Come on. Unbelievable. Primary grid shutdown protocols are in effect. Well... Now that's all that's left to be done is exit the factory reactor and, well, I would assume head to the exit and hopefully to Koth so we can get off this rock, hopefully, maybe. Yeah, it's probably not going to happen. But we do need to make our way to the emergency lift, which is just over there by the looks of things. Okay, that's pretty cool. I don't think I'm... Mm, there's a lot of glass that's been shattered here, but I suppose you can expect that. I'm actually quite impressed that all of it is still intact. Okay, yes, there are technicians. I'm surprised they didn't run before. Huh, okay. They must be very brave. Very brave technicians indeed. And I can't open this door because apparently Sky Troopers are among us, of course. Okay, well, let's just eliminate these guys and then we'll hopefully be where the emergency lift is. Oh, we need to destroy the prototype Sky Troopers. That's exactly what I want to do, isn't it? Okay, well, I'll see you after this wave-based event. Put up a good fight. Challenge accepted and met. That's the end 
have that one. Challenge accepted and met. Okay, there we go. That's the last of them, and now we can use the maintenance lift panel and head on through to the extraction point. That sounds good to me. Ah, phew. That took quite some time, did it not? The dark should help our escape. Not as well as a massive explosion would have, but it will do. Koth, where are you? Ran into sort of a maintenance issue. How bad is it? It's not great, but we're on top of it. Give us, uh, three minutes? Hang tight. Hope you're not scared of the dark. You do what you have to. We'll be waiting. Let's find a place to lie low and... Not an option. Three minutes. Okay. Three minutes? Ah, well, okay. That sounds like a song of some sort. Uh, yes, I wonder where that's from. That yeah, it's probably quite a few years ago in actual fact. Hmm. Oh, oh, we've got something going on here. We've got something going on. Oh my, look at that. Oh yes, we've got some fancy maneuvers here. We are technically chopping our arm off many, many times over. But that was cool. Oh. Oh, he's, he's striking a rather magnificent pose. Oh, now he stopped. Ah, that was that was really awesome, though. That was really cool. It's actually never happened to me before, but apparently we got it to work this time. Not entirely sure how that happened, but there we go. That's pretty nice. So, let's now just get ready for the remaining Sky Troop. Obviously, we do have a boss, actually. We do have a boss coming up. Two bosses, I think? But, yeah, we'll see. Ah, well, that was cool anyway. That was really cool. It's been a while. Okay, so, hmm, just the Sky Troopers remaining, and then we'll be off this planet? I Actually, I don't know. I don't think so, actually. I think we're going to be heading somewhere else. Clear the extraction point? Okay. Is that all that I need to do now? I'm going to assume that there's more, and more, and more. Oh, uh, no. Okay. Oh. Koth, is that blaster fire? Almost there. Three more minutes. Koth, we don't have three more minutes. Two and a half. Outlander, you are guilty of assassinating the immortal emperor and of evading imprisonment. We demand your immediate surrender. Knights of Zakul. A policing body under Valen's charge. Force sensitives. Your emperor killed millions. He got what he deserved. Valkorion made Zakul great. Now he's gone because of you. Surrender now. As long as I'm breathing, I'll never give in to you or to Arkin. Tell him I said so. You can tell Arkin yourself. Take them by force. Oh, well, I don't think that's happening anytime soon, do you? No, I don't think so. Okay, now, this is a great problem here. These guys do have one of the most amoy annoying, annoying, yes, annoying and annoying move sets that I have ever seen. And the main reason for that is because they push you back all the time. Now, there has been times where, well, things and stuff have happened where people have been pushed off this particular area that we are fighting here so yes hopefully that's not gonna happen to me right now but you never know I mean I'm trying to stay in the center here to avoid that but thankfully enough we survive Panic, run we'll fight another day you knights you're never taught to properly channel your anger <laughs> turn him loose so he can come after us again not what I'd call a sound strategy. 
We're going to be fighting against their new emperor. He'll tell them we're monsters. I want to show them something different. We can worry about public relations after you're safely away from here. Valen. I don't know you. But you. I've seen you. I'll hold her off as long as I can. The first chance you get, go. I've been hunted long enough. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, you're impossible. No. I won't need that. Heads down, eyes open, run like hell! Come on! in trouble. Okay, a lot. It's good to finally get out of there. Thanks. Hold on to your gratitude. We're not even close to safe. Guns locked on! Get us out of here! Trying to! Come on, come on! Thank you, T7. We owe you one. Yeah, really. Lament. No one has thanked me. I appreciate the save. Humility. It was nothing. Okay. Salutation. Greetings. I am HK-55, fully armed for combat and at your command. Good to know. I told you we'd succeed. You left out the part where I'd lose my ship. I was with others before Arkan attacked. What happened? Why were you and T7 the only ones to come for me? I can only tell you as much as I know, Master Jedi. Better get started. It's gonna be a short trip and you've got five years of galactic hell to cover. HK, make yourself useful. Check the stabilizers. Five years? I just is failing, please! There was no way I could possibly... <gasps> Are you awaiting instruction? The Outlander? No. He's gone. Gone? I don't care what it takes. I want him found. Out. Did you think to take any extinguishers when you stole the ship? Last Outlander, you're up. See what you can do with this thing.
That's two more shuttles you owe me. You didn't even own this one. It really shouldn't count. It was mine when it crashed. It counts. Do we know anything about this swamp? Not much to it. Barely populated. Some old ruins scattered around. The usual grumpy wildlife you'd expect. People call it the Endless Swamp. Endless? It's an old name. People were more dramatic back then. Anything on your sensors? Confirmation. I have detected a large metallic object nearby. Analysis suggests a technological construct, but there are no energy readings. Whatever it is, it's got better chances of flying than this thing. Engines fried to a crisp. Sky troopers won't be far behind us. We need to hide the evidence of our landing. I'll scavenge you, Barry. Just like Aaron Prime. I get the sense you two have been working together for a while. Long enough. I know you have more questions than answers, but we should really keep moving. I promise I'll tell you everything I can as soon as we're safe. Enthusiasm. Shall we investigate the technological object? I believe I can guide us to its location. Very well. Oh, very well. Yes, that sounds like a very good plan, HK55. Oh, yes. I absolutely adore the HK series, as you may know from Inquisitor. I really do love these droids, absolutely. But we will save the technological object searching for the next episode. So I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.